Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd of 2022. Let's start with the economic calendar review. What is going on here? The first thing is that the ASEAN session was quite boring, but during the uh, London session we got uh, some data interesting uh, for all of the uh, euro traders. I'm talking about the IFO, business climate index, kind assessment, and of course the expectations. All of these uh, numbers uh, are scheduled for release at 10 a.m. Gross domestic product from Italy is scheduled for release at 10 a.m. as well. As you can see, 1.6% is still being expected from the Italian uh, economy. Uh, quarter to noon, we got the Bank of England Deputy Governor uh, uh, David Ramsen. Uh, that would, he will give us a speech, uh, and then we got the CBI Industry Order Books uh, Balance at noon. Both data from the UK. And uh, during the um, New York session, please remember that this is the first day after the President's Day, the Washington Day. Uh, that was yesterday, Monday. Uh, we got the ISM manufacturing data scheduled for least quarter to uh, four o'clock, and then of course final services PMI, composite PMI, and the highlight of the day, consumer confidence data scheduled for release at four o'clock sharp. The market participants expect a, a drop from 113.8 to 110.2. So um, any good reading, better than expectations, will definitely give a boost to US dollar. And this is exactly what we are going to start with. We are going to start with the US dollar as a part of the so-called safe heavens. So what is going on on the US dollar? The first thing is very simple. Let me just zoom out and you can see that the US dollar index on a daily time frame chart is still moving up inside of the gray channel and above this uh, kind of a short term trend line, let's say, or mid term even a uh, trend line. Uh, it's been working uh, very nice uh, so far. We got three, uh, two bounces from this, uh, from this line and uh, the market is currently trading in between levels 95.22, 96.42. So uh, we are still trading inside of this range, but it looks like the, the market participants wants to break out uh, higher above 96.42 and 96.61. And if this two uh, technical resistance levels are violated, then we can expect another jump uh, higher uh, towards 96.92 and, and even the highs of the of the uh, 97.41. Why this is being expected is because we are observing across the board um, very very uh, typical uh, for for markets uh, behavior, so called risk of market behavior. So we have the, of course, the, the, the search for the safe heavens, the natural safe heavens on the financial markets are uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, Swiss franc, gold, and uh, treasury, um, uh, treasuries of the US securities or treasuries um, 10 or two years old. So as you can see, the first one is, of course, the US dollar index looking bullish uh, for me. What is going on on gold? If the if the US dollar index is going up, the gold supposed to go down, right? Because it's being quoted in American dollar. However, as you can see, we are seeing a clear uh, safe heaven, uh, safe heaven um, activity. So what do we see here is a typical market behavior uh, among the investors that are seeking for the uh, safe heaven breakout above this uh, trend line here uh, just below the 1854 uh, dollars breakout higher towards 1877 test of the support and then move higher this is typical behavior and uh, um, when uh, the spot gold market is making higher highs and the US dollar is making higher highs or it's trying to rally as well so of course, spot gold market will be much more, mm, much more active uh, when people are seeking for the safe haven because it's always a gold, uh, not a not a US US dollar who doesn't actually has a you know a backup in in, in gold anymore. Uh, 
So right now, of course, we are talking about this level for a breakout. This is 1916, the high from the beginning of 2021. Right now, we are just trading inside of the supply zone and the market conditions are extremely overbought. Um, the momentum is ex very, very, very aggressively and dynamically positive and strong. So please keep an eye on the current situation on the gold market because it looks like um, th that might not be the last level uh, for, for bulls on the gold. The next target, 1,965. The other one, 1,994 dollar per ounce of uh, gold. Gold looks bullish. What is then going on with the S&P uh, 500? It should go down and it does. Yesterday, this market was closed um, because of the, as I said, the present day, the Washington day. But today we just open and there is a gap down. So please, uh, please pay attention to the gap covering. And as you can see, the market is highly technical and 61% was the level for a bounce to test it twice. And now we are call, uh, we are continuing to the downside. What uh, 4,300, 4,267, 4,234 are the levels for the zone of the uh, demand zone, right? This, this is the demand zone. So if we today close below this levels below, especially 4,234. This is another um, indication of very, very strong bearish activity and bears, as you can see, might push the price out of the channel. This channel is a long term channel. It started in 2020, in the end of the 2020, in the very beginning of 2021. And that's over one year, you know, over one year old. We got the new high here, 4,817. First leg of the correction, bounce to the 61%. Second leg of the correction, if we break below 4,264, the next target is 4,000 uh, points. So please pay attention to the S&P 500. If this index will go down, gold will go up american dollar will go up as well and the momentum is clearly negative is a very sharply showing us the south so there's plenty of room to drop there's plenty of levels to go down please keep an eye on s p uh, 500 so last but not least let's take a look what is going on on the us dollar to japanese yen US dollar to Japanese yen is going lower. As we said yesterday, uh, we analyzed this chart day by day. Yesterday we got a breakout. We close at the lows. Today we got the new low, uh, 114.51. And of course, uh, some kind of a reaction towards the trend line. But the level of 114.83 is now technical resistance. So US dollar might, might drop even lower. Next target, 114.18, and then the key technical support, 113.50. As you can see, this all started after ABC pattern to the upside was, it was made. It wasn't the impulsive co uh, pattern. It was clearly a corrective pattern to the upside. Then we have this uh, strange um, kind of a triangle, not triangle. There you go. And we are going, as you can see, down on the US to Japanese yen. Last but not least, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Well, our scenario of going of Bitcoin going down towards 61% of the Fibonacci retracement, 37,816 has been correct, but as you can see, it uh, the market broke below this uh, below this um, uh, level Fibonacci level. This was the major level, major level for bulls. Uh, right now we violated this level so we are continue to move uh, according to the uh, red arrow scenario which 
indicates breakout below 36,155 towards 32,905, which is the low of the uh, end of the January last um, uh, this year, 2022. So please pay attention uh, to the current market, uh, of course, uh, behavior for the uh, for the uh, Bitcoin as well. Please remember that the key zone for Bitcoin, which might be uh, a key zone for years or for months to come, is between 28,964-30,196. If we break below the zone, Bitcoin is officially in the uh, downtrend. So please keep an eye on the levels because it looks like the market uh, is getting uh, uh, smashed, the Bitcoin market getting smashed more and more and uh, the, uh, the market participants are selling Bitcoin and going back to the, the US dollar or to the Tether. So this is a clearly uh, risk aversion a situation when the market participants are as well here uh, looking for more uh, safe heavens, more more safe deposits, more safety uh, during this unstable uh, times. So please pay attention to the Bitcoin as well. It start it starts to behave uh, very very much like a tech stock, like a like a part of the Nasdaq. Indices uh, index as well. Uh, so um, if the American indices will go down, the Bitcoin will will likely follow this uh, this pattern as well. That's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis, and I hope I see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.